Okay, we will have three speakers for today's webinar. Uh, I'll take care of part one. I'll be sharing more on the uh, smile. All of you are on Facebook Live. Okay, so we'll have three speakers uh, for today's webinar. I'll be taking care of part one in which I'll be sharing more about Philip Capital's business model and uh, the company's business structure. For part two, uh, our second speaker, Joshua Teo, Senior Manager from Partnership Department, will share more about our infrastructure, our support, and our platform. And for part three of the webinar, we have invited a very successful financial services director, Mr. Kelvin Wang, to share with us more on the strategies needed to build a successful financial advisory business from startup to scale up. Okay. I believe you have heard we are beyond stock working. Many of you, I believe, uh, you might already have Poems trading account. You might have known Philip Capital as a stock working firm. Uh, yes, we started as a stock working firm more than 45 years ago. We are really 47 years old. Uh, but we are now more than just a stock working firm. We are an integrated financial house with global presence. We have presence in more than 15 countries. We own a life insurance company in Thailand, Philip Life. We own a bank in Cambodia, Philip Bank. We own stockbroking firms in Turkey, Hong Kong, India, etc. So our clients can assess uh, more than 26 stock exchanges because we are offices in those uh, countries with just one single Poems platform. And I believe many of you have heard about Poems before. We also partner with many fund houses to bring more than 2,000 unit trusts for our client to choose. We partner with more than 35 insurance partners too to bring our clients a wide selection of life and general insurance product to compare. So in total, we carry more than 40,000 financial products. But then what does it mean to you? You know, you carry 40,000 financial products. That's a lot for me to curate for my clients. We okay, have a wide range of products available to you. You can curate for your client and you are able to be client-centric. So instead of product-centric, if you represent one company, you can just talk about uh, you know, the, the product or one particular provider. But now we partner with so many insurance partners, we partner with so many fund houses, you can really compare and select the products and curate the products that suits your client's needs. That means you can be client-centric. You are able to be client-centric with a wide range of products available. Uh, well, uh, we have network offices all around the world, like I mentioned just now. So it means that your business is not just confined to Singapore, not just a local client. This is a global business. Our clients are from all over the world. We have, I mean, personally, I have onboarded a client from Papua New Guinea before. Papua New Guinea is a country uh, next to Sulawesi, you know, uh, Indonesia. So we also have clients from South Africa and other parts of the world. So why is that so? Because we have this platform that allow our brokers, our advisors to onboard clients digitally online. So each and every one of our consultants will have a unique URL to onboard clients uh, for the different type of investment products that we have. So our consultant, to our consultant and our brokers, this is not just a local business, this is a global business. A few more facts about Philip Capital. We, our total AUM is more than 35 billion and our shareholders equity is more than 1.5 billion US dollar. Uh, to, to help us understand how much is 1.5 billion. I believe all of you know what is Singapore exchange. This is the only exchange in Singapore uh, owned by the Masio GIC, owned by government. So uh, Singapore exchange shareholder equity is about 1.5 billion sing dollar. So Philly Capital, for Philly Capital, our shareholders equity is more than 1.5 billion US dollar. Okay. We also have more than 1 million existing client base globally as of now. Okay, for Singapore, I believe many of you might have seen our investor center before. We have 14 investor centers across Singapore. So out of 14 of them, four of them owned by franchises. 
So our consultants and our brokers, right, they can franchise our investor centers. So I give you an example. If you are an ex-banker of a bank, I don't think you can franchise a bank branch. But in Philip Capital, you can franchise our investor center. So this will, this will be an area for our consultants uh, to grow their business under a concept or network model. Uh, what does it mean, network model, right? It means you are not running the business alone. You are not setting up the branch alone. You are, you are able to partner with different specialists. It can be equity specialist, investment consultant, investment specialist, portfolio manager to co-run the business, to co-run the branch. Of course, if you feel that, hey, I do not know anyone, I do not have any friend who are stockbroker, you can talk to us. We can connect you, uh, of course, with advisors and specialists, uh, with Kelvin as well. Yeah. Okay, so now we understand more about the company, we know the shareholders' equity, we know the branches. How about the product available? I'm going to talk about the product in a bit more details. Okay, These are the products that we carry from transactional to advisory to discretionary. Okay, You need time to build trust when you onboard a client. Uh, to a client, you are a new advisor to me. So they will part less access with you. But as I trust you more, they will part more access with you. So when you first onboard client, right, the trust of quantum is considered low. So the product are more on transactional. When you onboard a client through a unique QR code given to you, they will probably transact online DIY trade. But as the client trusts you more, they will ask more questions. They will seek your advice to construct investment solutions, investment portfolio for them. And then you'll be able to offer solutions, you'll be able to advise on a broader range of services and provide the holistic financial planning to meet your client's need. So as the trust quantum move higher, you can offer discretionary services to your clients, which means you'll be able to make more decisions on a portfolio construction and rebalancing. You choose what stocks to be added into the portfolio. It's more of um, passive type of investment in which your client will part, for example, your client part a 1 million uh, asset review, and then you, together with your portfolio manager, will design a portfolio, they'll run passively for your client. But of course, you have to update your client on a regular basis, at least on quarterly basis. Okay, with the multi-products that we have, right, uh, comes multi-licenses. Candidate can join us uh, as under any of the three licenses that you can see on the screen right now, it can be TR license, FSC, and PM. As a TR or stockbroker, will facilitate you. You can facilitate clients' trading uh, needs, which means your client can trade online. You can uh, you make margin calls. You recommend certain stocks, and of course, uh, you will assist your clients with their DIY trade. And of course, some of the clients might call you, and you just can trade for them. Uh, as an FAC, financial advisory consultant, you provide holistic financial planning. You advise clients on the protection needs, asset accumulations, portfolio construction as well. Yeah. And as you move on, just now we talk about discretionary portfolio, right? Uh, we also have portfolio management license. Whilst that is fund management license. You'll be able to manage clients' money through discretionary services. We call this product manage account or customize portfolio. So here in Philip Capital, you can also combine license. So not just the three license that you can see on a screen, multi-license is possible in Philip Capital. You are able to combine licenses and be dual license here. Yeah. You can be a FATR. We call our FATR well managers. That means you hold FA license and you hold TR license. You are able to service trading clients and able to provide wealth advisory services. You can also be FA, FM. This is something totally new, we just created uh, totally new and we are the first one. I think currently it's also the only one in Singapore with FA, PM, which means you hold the FA license at the same time, you hold the fund management license, portfolio manager. Uh, that is a licensed contextual portfolio manager. And then we also have FMXTR. 
some of you or any of your friends who are currently a stockbroker or ex-stockbroker, you are able to move to Philip Capital and you can start the portfolio management license, but an XDR. So why is that? So your main license is fund management, but you are able to service trading clients, which means your client will do DIY trade, but you'll be able to assist them with their margin call, service them, but you cannot keep trade for them. Yeah, so that is FNXTR uh, license that currently we have in Philip Capital. So we, the, the, we have this system and process in place to support you with all these uh, multi-licensed businesses. Okay, with multi-products and licenses come with multiple sources or income. So what does it mean? For TR business, your income can be both active and passive. So when I say passive, right, it means, uh, for example, let's say you open a trading account for your client, your client trade at night while you're sleeping, you also earn a commission uh, through the trading system. For advisory business as well, you have both active and passive income. For advisory business, for first year income is considered active because you need to go out there to meet clients, either online or offline to acquire business. But income from second years of work will be considered passive and recurring. The same for discretionary services. You need to make client to collect the check first and then subsequently the annual management fee. Those will be passive income for you. I think this one is my last slide. Uh, I wish to share the average income of our top 5% representative of FA and TR. So just now, we know that TR license are stock workers. FA license are the financial advisory consultant and FA TR license will be our dual license wealth managers. So for wealth managers, you can see that the tech hall income of our top 5% wealth managers is above 500,000. And for single license consultant, the current average income is about 400 plus. Yeah, for financial year uh, 2021. So some of our consultants and our advisors and managers, they are doing very well. Okay, so I think next I'll pass to Joshua, Senior Manager from Partnership Department, who will share more about our support uh, infrastructure as well as platform. Over to you, Joshua. Yeah. Thank you, Miling. Uh, able to hear me? Yes, clear. Great. Okay. Thank you, Miling, for uh, condensing the overview of um, uh, Philip Capital's uh, infrastructure and the entire architecture uh, in, in very short uh, timing. Let me share my slides. Okay. Okay. Able to see my slides now? Yeah. I think it can. Uh. Okay. Uh, what I'll be sharing with you guys now is actually, you know, Miling has shared the overview uh, infrastructure, the architecture of Philip Capital. Okay, uh, I will be sharing with you the inf the platform and support. Uh, just three of them. Okay, of uh, the many that we Philip Capital is actually providing for our uh, advisors. How to actually start this business with? Okay, so traditionally, uh, we build an ecosystem for our our wealth managers here in Philip. So traditionally, you know, uh, when you want to start a sales cycle, you get a lead in. You know, so once you get a lead in, you try to. Uh, Close them, become a customer. And then after that, you know, become your uh, 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 promoters or what we call referrals. Okay. And that's how, how traditionally people do uh, in this business. But in Philip, we would like to go uh, further up. Uh, this is what we call a marketing funnel. We have to go further up into this funnel. What do I mean by this? Okay. We would like to start with this thing called a stranger. As long as this universe is big enough, right? Uh, the, the audience, this is your market share. Okay, they, they are, but then they are potentially right now strangers. What do we do with them? We want to convert them, turn them, move them into the funnel, become visitors. Okay, then we will filter them to become a qualified lead. Now, this is what we do in Philip. So we don't start with a raw cold lead, we start with a qualified lead. And then we go through the entire cycle. Okay, so what does the ecosystem do uh, to help our wealth managers here? It serves four functions. Firstly, the attract function, attracting a stranger to become a visitor. Okay, the convert function, uh, converting the visitor to become a qualified lead at this point of time. Okay, a closing function to actually close the lead to become a client and we will delight them. It's also very important to delight your existing clients so that they can become uh, good promoters of you to actually continue the entire uh, cycle. Okay, so what do we actually do uh, uh, in, in the uh, attraction uh, uh, from the stranger to visitor? Okay, we have few things involved. Okay, we do social media. 
Okay, we also do a uh, uh, flip, you know, uh, website webinars, market journals. Uh, we have this thing called a uh, finance fit, uh, which is actually a financial assessment to actually help you to engage uh, your clients, okay, or your other strangers to actually help them to engage or to visit you. Okay, uh, later we can actually show with you uh, how social media can help to uh, showcase and profile uh, yourself you know, to, to, to strangers as well. Okay, so in, in this current situation, in this current times, you will actually be bombarded with a lot of uh, blatant ads. Okay, so we will actually show, show you right, how Philip Capital can help to actually elevate this away from your entire uh, uh, business when you start here. Okay, uh, we also internally have this uh, Match Me program uh, where due to the, you know, the wide spectrum of uh, solutions that Just Now Milling has shared that we actually offer, we can actually do internal matching of customers when they're actually looking out for the various you know, solutions in their, you know, for their financial needs and wealth and wealth management needs as well. So we can actually do a matching between, you know, Just Now what Milling mentioned, TR to FAs to portfolio managers and all. Okay, we keep them within the ecosystem. We keep our clients within the ecosystem. Okay, uh, when, and in terms of converting, so when we, you know, when strangers actually, hey, Philip, interesting. They visit us and everything, they visit your website, they visit your social media, and everything, interesting. So they visited you. Then right now we say, hey, how can we actually uh, convert them from a visitor to a qualified lead? No, we have, just like I mentioned to you, we have this, um, a finance fit thing thingy where we actually check on their current financial health to actually better engage them to 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 have a good quality talk. Okay, we also have this thing called uh, pardon me for the acronyms. Uh, we also have this thing called a TTP page, which is a uh, talk to Philip page. Okay, okay, this page is something where it's something like a digital name card, but more importantly, right, it's actually a online platform where uh, our wealth managers can get direct account opening, uh, product order placement, where customers can choose to go digital when the advisors, you know, towards directly to the advisor's uh, unique pitch and the sales uh, goes direct to the wealth advisor, okay? So the interesting part is this, when a lot of companies, if you think this point of view, when corporate goes digital, build up all this infrastructure, and then they can go direct to the uh, uh, end consumer, most likely, you know, they take, the wealth managers or the advisors or the salespeople out of the equation. But in Philip, we do the exact opposite. When we build this infrastructure, we go out to the end clients and everything, we direct the traffic to the advisor. So this is what is unique about Philip and you know, our platform. Okay. Uh, so when we actually uh, have good quality leads and everything, when we convert them, okay, we actually have modules, digital modules in place, be it a face-to-face -face or is it uh, online nowadays, you know, a Zoom closing, we can actually do it both, be it face-to-face -face or online, okay? Uh, so these are all the mo modules that we have in our system to actually uh, close the client and all, okay? And of course, you no, know, we have actually, uh, uh, to delight the clients, we actually have this, uh, uh, apps to actually help the clients monitor their portfolio and then to, to service our clients and all. Okay, but most importantly, the key module to gel this entire system together is the lead management module. Okay, it helps our wealth managers to be you know uh, guided and aware of where they are in the entire funnel. That is very important. It gives you clarity. It helps you to keep track of where your individual uh, uh, leads or clients are in the funnel and what to do with them uh, at each of this stage so you don't go in blindly. Okay, it's a very powerful module because it helps uh, our wealth managers to be very organized, focused, and it integrates all the modules together seamlessly to give, and more importantly, right, it is to give your client, right, a pleasant experience when it deals with our Philly Capital Advisor. Okay, uh, but of course, I won't sugarcoat everything. Uh, with this in place, there needs to be certain competency to deliver this pleasant experience. That's why we also incorporated a training app within the entire system. Okay, this training app is meant to pick up relevant gaps in your delivery and your performance. Okay, targeted training. It's not blind training. It's not blanket training. It's targeted training in the areas where you are lacking to in order to actually allow you to perform better. For example, if you are good in closing, you are you know, we don't blindly go in to actually train you in closing skills because we actually identified the gap was actually in conversion. So we actually come in to train you to beef up on your conversion skills and all. Okay. So this is what we actually, uh, so these are, let me go to the next slide. So these are all the modules that we actually have developed for our advisors to actually use accordingly. Now, let me move on to the next slide. Okay. Our advisors can actually use these apps, this app, uh, to actually see at a glance what their customers actually have. 
their holdings, their portfolio, and all. But we do not neglect the, the uh, consumer part. For client, they can also have a self-check for them to actually have direct access to their portfolio with us. So they can also do their own DIY check as well. So you can actually segmentize your clients, you know, which one you actually have want to have more interaction. Some clients, you, you say, hey, leave me alone. They're, okay, can. Then they actually have a DIY check. Okay. Uh, apart from that, infrastructure, as a client, they're thinking, so how do I get out? How do I shut myself up? Oh, just not Joshua showing you don't do blatant ads and everything. So what do we do? Okay. So at a company level, at the corporate level, and capacity, we will do up you know videos for our wealth managers to actually be placed uh, on the media platforms as mentioned earlier just now. So advisors, uh, I, I think you have to uh, be uh, 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 take note of this. Our wealth managers do not do not need to engage production house on their own for this which is a very, very unique point in Philip. okay? We help, we at a corporate level help to showcase and profile advisors, right? From the company's uh, main page. So advisors, what they need to do right now is just to share it out from there, okay? So advisors do not need to create and produce and more importantly, uh, after you produce, you self-post, okay? On their own uh, page, okay? So positioning is so much better with Philip Capital. Uh, it also helps because it helps to serve as your social resume, for our wealth advisors because at this time and age you know after you meet people i tell you i guarantee you they will go back to search for you you search for your google linkedin and everything so this is a very important we have just showcase your credentials your you know your collaterals and all so at this point of time you need to ask yourself to keep up with times you know are you searchable so these are the things that, okay, what you can see over here is actually the Talk to Philip page on my bottom left, okay? It showcases the advisor's page, what they can actually close, what are the services they can do, the account opening and all, okay? You can also put up, you know, the testimonials that your clients have actually given you here, okay? And the path that we actually carved out for you in Philip, not constrained and retained to this, but we just like to highlight this to you. Uh, there's actually a sales path where you can actually progress along the way, or if you want to, you can build your own team, okay? And you progress along the way. Or you can do both, okay? We will not restrict you. There's, not constrain, there's no restriction and constraint here at Philip Capital, okay? So in terms of training, there's a, progress, there's, a, there's a progression path. In terms of training, we have designed to help be it a, a fresh to industry or experience. You want to refresh your skill, we learn, we train and all. There's a 12-month program over here at Philip. Okay, segregated to actually help you to actually be day one competent to actually engage with clients to actually start your business here. So we actually have the first week training. We actually have a, a, a hybrid training for the for the for the zero zero one fly high phase one. After that ninety days, there'll be a checkpoint. Okay, of how to actually advance and upskill yourself, and of course the next one high uh, fly high three. Okay, this is entire thing. The program is actually in place in built to actually help you know uh, advisors here at Philip. Okay, so just want to share. Doing always won't open new doors. And here in Philip, we are always trying to better ourselves to do newer ways and base and better ways. Uh, we have we do have a lot more to share because we have a wide range of solutioning, uh, but we would like to keep it within an hour. And we have a very experienced you know, uh, director with us today. Okay, and we would like to pick his brains as much as we can as well. Okay, this director here today is actually uh, Kelvin. Let me stop share. Uh, Kelvin is actually a, a financial services director here uh, with us at Philip. He is a very, very strong individual producer, but yet he's also a very top uh, team leader with Philip as well. So without further ado, let me introduce uh, Kelvin to you and then uh, for his sharing to see how you start up and then scale up. Kelvin, to you. Okay, thanks Joshua for the kind introduction. Okay. Let me just share with you my slide. Okay. Okay, so shall we start? Okay, just put this in place. Okay, so welcome uh, all candidates to my recruitment uh, webinar. So uh, my name is Kelvin Wang, and this is my agency logo. So today for our contents, okay, I'm going to share with you what exactly uh, my agency is about, what is my vision, uh, the agency's mission, and of course, why join KWA. And lastly, about uh, the pipe project of PIC Life, which uh, Joshua and Meilin has actually touched on. Okay, about myself, my academic records, I have a master's degree in financial planning. I'm associate and state planning practitioner. I'm a accredited mortgage consultant, associate financial consultant. 
Okay, my achievements. Um, formerly, I was actually with uh, AIA for a good part from 2003 to 2013. So thereafter, I left and actually joined Philip Securities. Um, I eventually uh, attained the million dollar round table, not including my member. Uh, so for 2023, I actually achieved the million dollar round table, top of the table award. Okay. Our agency's mission, it is to build a team of dedicated financial advisors, trading representatives, and fund managers to provide a one-stop financial services hub for generations of clients. Our mission, to train and nurture the next generation of financial entrepreneurs who will be equipped with the right mindset, skill set, and tool set to meet the various challenges on route to building their financial services business. This is my team. We consist of seven advisors. We fall in the process of INF coded or they are actually taking their exams. Since the agency is formed in 2015, okay, our agency income has actually uh, grown year on year. So we are actually on track to hit our target of 700,000 for 2023. Okay, so why join Kelvin Wang Associates? Because we are confident we can unleash your full potential. So who are we looking for? We have five criteria qualities that we are looking for in our FA. First, the entrepreneur said, a successful financial advisor should think and run his business like an entrepreneur. This is because an entrepreneur has a strong sense of initiative, be willing to take calculated risks, and is comfortable with uncertainty in order to run a successful business. Second, innovative. Innovation is critical for success in sales. As a financial advisor, you need to constantly find new and creative ways to connect with your target audience in order to differentiate yourself from your competitors. Remember, if you're not innovating, you're falling behind. Third, compliance. Compliance is not just a box to tick. It is a core part of a financial advisor's responsibility to their clients. Financial advisors must uphold ethical standards to protect their clients and themselves from legal and reputational risks. Fourth, Driven and determined for success. Success requires hard work, determination, and a strong work ethic. A successful financial advisor understands he must put in the hard work to achieve his goals. Lastly, the willingness to learn and upgrade. Successful financial advisors must continuously upgrade their skills and knowledge to stay ahead of the evolving industry providing clients with the best possible advice and services. So there you have it. These five qualities are essential for success in this competitive financial services industry and will ensure clients receive the best possible advice and services. Next segment, how are we going to help to unleash your full potential? Draw my 20 years career. I've encountered three main areas why people is unable to reach a full potential. For this next segment, I'll be showing some videos which have helped me personally in my own career journey. So let's start. Okay. Oh, we cannot hear. We cannot hear the video. Need to share the. Well, Sorry about that. Let me just need to uh, share the screen sound also. Okay, let me see if I can share the screen. So you just give me a second. Uh, share sound. Okay, I have it. Okay, so we can share sound right now. Okay, 
Sorry about that. Let's continue. Let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can. So sorry about that. Shall we restart the video? So sorry about that. Let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Okay, for this next segment, this is the power of the mind. Now, from the video, we can see three things. Fear of failure. People may have been conditioned to fear failure and may have been told that pursuing their dreams is actually risky and could lead to failure. This fear can hold them back from taking the necessary steps to achieve their goals. Second, negative self-talk. People may engage in negative self-talk, telling themselves that they are not good enough or capable of achieving their dreams. This negative self-talk can become a self-fulfilling prophecy, leaving them to give up before even trying. Third, external influence. People may face external influences such as discrimination, bias, or lack of opportunities that make it difficult for them to pursue their dreams. This can be particularly challenging for individuals who come from disadvantaged background. Remember, just because a person starts last in the beginning of a race doesn't mean you finish last. In summary, the messages that people receive from society, their families, and their own internal messages can be powerful and influential. Therefore, it is important to condition your mind to overcome obstacles to achieve your dreams. Next, I shall talk about the second area, objections. Most FA that I actually talk to, they will tell me they have difficulties in building a client base. So here in KWA, you'll be thought on how to use social media and other marketing channels to reach out to potential clients. We provide radio interviews, podcasts, YouTube, newspaper writer opportunity, for you to outreach to potential clients. And all this, as mentioned by Meling and Joshua, are provided free for you. Next, you will also be taught on how to build a strong referral network by asking satisfied clients to recommend your services to your friends and family. Now, the question is not, is if you have asked your clients to recommend your services. The question is how? Did you ask your clients to recommend your services? In KWA, 
we will train you to ask the right questions to increase the rate of referrals. Lastly, you get to attend seminars and networking events, which is arranged by KWA every quarter to meet potential clients and reach and build your relationships. Second, intense competition. This is one of the common objections that I actually face from my FA. So my solution for them is focus on a specific niche or target market to differentiate yourself from competitors. What some of my FA did is to specialize in retirement, medical, company employee insurance. Some of my FAs actually work better with people of certain occupations like hawkers or people in their 40s to 50s. Therefore, you have to find your niche or target market. Second, provide exceptional customer service and build strong relationships with your clients to retain your business. For example, my staff and I arrange among ourselves so that if my clients ever need help, when they are at a hospital counter or met a car accident, we'll always be there for them to answer their questions on the spot. This helps to assure my clients that they are not alone where they need us the most. And the third, most biggest uh, objection would be the lack of support and mentorship. Since joining the industry in 2002, I've actually walked the journey. I've uncovered the pitfall of failures and found solutions to being a successful financial advisor. Therefore, you can be assured that my team and I will provide the guidance and support as you build up your career. Lastly, we are actually a family because in KWA team, you get to interact and discuss any difficulties with other advisors and find solutions to your problems. Because as I mentioned, in KWA, we are actually a family. In summary, to address the challenges of, the, of the difficulties of building a client base, a lack of support and mentorship, and intense competition, financial advisors can use a combination of marketing strategies, networking and training development opportunity provided by us. By developing a strong value proposition, building relationships with clients and finding a mentor to provide guidance support, our advisors can overcome these challenges and achieve success in the industry. Now, the last part of my areas that my FA will actually face would be no confidence. Now, in the next video, okay, I'm going to show you, okay, introduce my good friend, Adam King. He will explain to you what this is all about. Listen up, because you only go around once. Someone's going to make themselves a million, going to get rich, going to build an empire to make them rich. On the spotlight, steal the show, write a bestseller. Never try, never know. Someone's going to find a new species, going to be the next Bollywood star. Going to own land on the moon. Gonna get that far. Get where you're going. You don't want to be late. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Someone's gonna be famous. Gonna drive a fast car. Gonna make it on TV. Gonna go far. Get that girl. Get that house. Get that job. Get that yacht. There's no second prize. It's your chance. Take your shot. Someone's gonna do it. Why not you? Now, in the video, okay, even though it's a old guinea style advertisement, right? The Adam King character actually said a few pointers that actually can get us thinking. Somebody is going to get a car. Somebody is going to get their house. Somebody is going to earn six figures income per year. So my dear fellow candidates, why not you? 
So we have heard how we identify three main areas that prevent you from reaching your full potential. So when you join KWA, we are going to help you to overcome all these obstacles. Okay, now coming to the last part of my presentation, which is the PIC light. Okay, so as uh, what Mei Ling and Joshua has actually highlighted, we are actually looking for like-minded entrepreneurs who share the same vision and believe in a successful model of the PIC light. So I urge you, if you have the intention, don't hesitate. Join us today and let's build this business together. Okay, so that's the end of my presentation. Back to Mei Ling and Joshua. Okay, thank you, Kelvin. Okay, thanks for sharing. Uh, let me flash my slide. Okay, right now, we will be going into the Q&A uh, section. Okay, and uh, let me just flash out uh, our contact details, Kelvin's contact details and all, so that you can actually connect with us should you want to and all. Okay, uh, Kelvin is very friendly. You can, you can buy a coffee, chit chat, okay, get to know uh, uh, more in depth, okay, what he was sharing and all. Okay, and uh, we shall take uh, questions here uh, uh, from the audience uh, about uh, for this webinar and all. Okay, while you guys, uh, you know, think of the questions that you'd like to uh, ask Calvin and all, uh, while looking through his slides and all, I, I, I took down some notes. Huh? <laughs> Calvin, I, I saw that you were uh, actually impressively ranked number 17 in AIA at one point of time. Uh, <laughs> can I ask this question? I'm not sure if it's good to ask this question. Uh, uh, was it difficult for you to make a decision to leave uh, uh, to leave when you are so established in your in your previous company and then to start to start again with Philip? Okay, that, that's a very good question, uh, Joshua. Um, I'm not sure whether the audience has some um, established FA who is actually looking for more opportunity, but I can tell you that the decision to leave uh, was certainly not easy to make. So. But I, I have to put my clients' uh, interests at heart because uh, uh, the platform in Philip was was good. Okay, it is yes more things for my clients in terms of their financial planning. So what I did is that I asked each and every one of my clients. That's about numbering three hundred to four hundred at the point of time, and I like to hear their answers. So when I called them up and asked them, I was actually pleasantly surprised that. All my clients were actually supportive of my move, okay, to 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 leave uh, and join Philip, okay, because of uh, the various platforms that's really readily available. So I moved from just pure insurance planning to be a full fledged financial planner, okay. So it is not easy. So I urge that all those who's thinking about mid career change, okay, or or thinking about how the industry works, just pick up the call, message us, or just call us. Okay, we're all friendly. Uh, not just buy me coffee. I think they buy mailing and Joshua coffee as well. Okay, <laughs> thank you for sharing. I think you buy them coffee, lah, Karin. <laughs> you just buy them coffee. They want to talk to you. Okay. Um, uh, we will take all uh the Q and A and all. If there's questions, you can actually uh type in the chat here, or you can actually unmute yourself to ask the questions if you want to. Okay. Uh, if not, uh. Sorry, uh, I, I know I'm very uh, loso because I, I'm a bit sensitive to the numbers. And just now when you flash and everything, I saw that uh, your cute production actually increased almost 100%. Uh, 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 so, so, you know, uh, and then you said you were from uh, MDRT, suddenly jumped to a TOT. That numbers really strike me. So what happened or what, 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 what is the uh, what so-called secret that happened? During, during the period of time. And then what happened is that, right, that uh, I found a secret of being successful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but I think that, right, that as you see from my, my uh, agency photos, right, actually we're quite closely knitted. Okay, so there's really no secret on this. We just work together. So our culture is actually like a family. So we work hard. We actually play hard. So we learn from each other's strength and actually learn to actually overcome our own weaknesses. So basically, that's how we did it. We actually go out together and do our work, and we come back and play hard. So that's it. That's the secret. <laughs> great, great. Thank you. Thank you for uh, unreservingly, you know, and very openly sharing uh, of, of this and all. 
I think you're very uh, open to share you know, all these numbers, you know, what, what, you, what you've done for yourself, what your team has done for themselves as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, opening up to the floor, if uh, you guys are very shy, okay, and uh, do not want to unmute or don't want to keen uh, at, at this moment of time or still you know, processing and all, okay, uh, this is the numbers that you can reach out to. You can reach out to Kelvin. Okay, you can reach out to myself or mailing, or you can also email us if you want to and all. Okay, uh, Kevin is also just like I mentioned, uh, we are uh, searchable on Google. Uh, we are on Talk to Philip platform. That means uh, you can actually go and search us on our Talk to Philip page and all. You will be able to find Kevin there as well. Uh, so, so do a try how to search Kevin and all, and then you know you'll see how you know, uh, Philip actually empowers our advisors to be out there. Uh, uh, in, in the industry and all okay so this will be our contact details okay uh thank you so much all uh if there's no more questions and all thank you so much all for joining us today and thank you kelvin for you know uh, uh sharing with us you know uh, uh how you have actually you're, you're such an impressive uh and strong individual producer how you actually do your sales and then also create a team and all thank you for sharing with us today and we really enjoy having you here today so uh thank you for joining us uh here this afternoon okay we'll be looking forward to connect with each and every one of you you can actually look for us here okay so we've come to the end of uh today's webinar and uh thank you so much all uh we yep. actually have our next webinar next month and then uh Mili, have anything you want to say yep uh because thank you uh kelvin for accepted the challenge uh to join us in this uh, career webinar and thank you for sharing your secret formula as well and i i like the videos are uh, very interesting uh, we are able to connect as well uh, very lively so uh so some of you who have missed the video if you want to join it again you can click on the link that shared the link in our meeting chat just click on the link and then like our facebook page as well there are a lot of photos our quarterly awards winner and kelvin uh is also one of our quarterly award winners as well we can see some of the photos uh he's also uh mdrt members and then some of the past videos you can also uh, listen again uh but just want to share last point i think kelvin uh, probably has a uh, experience as well because when you carry the name card of philip capital and when you talk to any of your friends or leads or candidates or potential clients you carry a name card of philip capital and of course uh some of my experience with current company you can sense the difference so visualize you presenting your name with philip capital's name card to your leads and potential clients I can see the difference. So take on our brand name, take on our connection, take on the brand name of Philip Capital to build a portfolio for yourself as well. Yeah. And thank you, Joshua. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think so uh, we can. And yeah, thank you, Kelvin. Yep. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all.